Do you ever notice when you're specifically looking for something, you can never find it? But when you're not looking, it miraculously shows up. And I've had one of those three-day periods where two things I've been seriously thinking about and wanting have suddenly came into my life. Uh, the first, I was down at my favorite guitar store and I wasn't planning on buying any more guitars. I was actually planning on getting rid of some guitars. And the most prized guitars on the planet are 1959 Gibson Les Pauls. There's something magical about that year. I don't know if it's the wood, if it was the craftsmanship, if it's the lacquer, if it's the paint. I think it was just the perfect storm and everything came together and the most perfect guitars in the world came out in 1959 from Gibson. Um, when I was down there talking to the people, they mentioned that a 59 Gibson Les Paul special double cutaway had come in. And I, yeah, I checked it out and it's completely original. Everything is in great shape for a 1959. So that's something that I've really got to look into and, and try to uh, see if there's a way to get that guitar into my collection. Uh, the other thing is I, I've, I've, I love sailboats. And uh, I've had two sailboats in the past. I started with a small one, and then just recently I sold my big 34-foot sailboat. I sold that boat about two years ago, and I always regretted selling that boat. So on Friday, I decided that I was just going to take a look on Craigslist and see what was going on out at Lake Mead. And lo and behold, my boat popped up. So I felt that uh, it was worth it for me to look into that a little bit more to see if that is even possible. My plan is to go to Guitar Center and to go to Lake Mead to see if either of these are possible. and this is the Hunter 33.5 that I used to own that is up for sale again. So let's check it out.
spotted my first boat that I sold uh, a while ago, and uh, it looks like it's been completely abandoned to shame when I sold it. I spent a couple of years fixing it up, and it was in really great shape. And now it looks like uh, people have stolen a lot of stuff on it. The engine's gone, wenches are gone, a lot of the side railings are gone. So uh, that's really sad. Uh, I spent a lot of work getting this uh, boat in top shape. So. Uh, you know, it's another option. I'll see if I can try to figure out who the owner is and see if they want to just let it go for nothing. So I thought I had made up my mind, and as I was leaving the lake, I had a random meeting with a gentleman that lived on a sailboat. And I spent about an hour talking to this guy about boats and guitars and life in general. And he, he asked me one simple question. He said, Steve, what would make you happy? And I thought about that, and you know what? I couldn't give him an answer, because I didn't know. And I've analyzed that and I've thought about the cost versus the expense versus the resale value versus the enjoyment factor and I finally decided to... <laughs>